uh, the last time the men in black came out it was nearly something like this but then it it, it was just to disrupt an, an, an election or something but for this one this one was a purely utter disrespect to the reason why i think a lot of these gen z's are saying no to dialogue which i think uh is the position that people should stick by because between uh, i think uh for the last like i want to say like 15 16 17 years there's been more than uh you know there's been about 20 dialogues and 20 different reports <laughs> So and 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 you know and clearly you know like um, I mean he's been uh, a politician a and even he's even occupied a cabinet position before and he's been a vice president. Remember, he was a cabinet. Yep. He was a minister in uh, in the coalition government before he was fired. He came from Mtu um, Mkono. Yeah, he came from Mtu um, Mkono. He became an MP when people didn't expect him from being an MP. No, but before he became an MP, he was in YK92. He yeah, was a fixer. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He was a fixer. He was a fixer. Right? And a jirongo, right? He was a fixer. He was a fixer. He was a fixer. That is why his politics is that. That's why his politics is full of fujo, keleles. He has a like going to places and dismantling the peace and doing like he. That's why he, he. That's what he knows how to do. And he grew. He became an MP when people didn't expect him to be an MP. Yes. Then from there, he 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 was always at loggerheads with Moi Nini. And remember when Raila sabotaged Kanu, he was one of the people who sabotaged Kanu with Raila. When no now when 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 Raila sabotaged Kanu when Raila sabotaged Kanu, he was one of the he was one of the people who sabotaged Kanu. But now the thing was, yeah, he was told go with Raila. But he was scared he didn't go. Remember, he held back him and Budavadi. Uh, him and th because the thing was, if, if because if Ruto would have Nini, um, no, I think Ruto went with Raila. There, there mm -hmm. was somebody who left, and, and that no, tripled no, the whole. No. So, so this is this is what happened in in uh, when uh, when Raila took over Kanu. This was before the 2002 election. When Raila became the SG, yes, for Kanu. Yeah. yes. When that happened. Uh, and then Uhuru was made to be the, the, presidential, the presidential candidate. candidate yeah. Raila left uh, Kanu and yes. harvested Kinakalonzo, Saitoti, and that whole mm -hmm. crew. Now Ruto, oh, yeah, Ruto at, yeah, point, no, no, yeah, at that point, I at remember, that point, no, he, I remained remember, in he remained in Kanu because yes. he, he supported uh, he supported Uhuru's uh, Uhuru's uh, uh, he was, candidate. He was he was held in Kanu. Ruto was supposed to move with uh, Raila. And Raila would have been the presidential candidate. And, and at so that Raila point, not yeah. having Ruto at yeah. that point, it made Raila decide to go and negotiate with Kibaki. And yeah. Form, uh, and form yeah. And, and uh, at nah. that point, Ruto was still a small player. Now, where he started crafting... No, he wasn't a small player. Because uh, remember, yeah. remember right after after NAC was formed, and then now Raila and NAC crumbled, where did Ruto go? So that's why I'm saying. In 2002, when, when Uhuru was a presidential candidate... He was still fairly a small player in the national level, but now come 2005, when uh, there was a referendum. There was a referendum. He that's went a with point Raila. where yeah. he crossed he and crossed went with Raila. Raila. Yeah, and they formed yeah. the original ODM. Not only, not only did he go with Raila, also Uhuru was with Raila o during, was that Raila referendum. during that referendum. That's yeah. something that a lot of people forget. Yeah, that was back the, in 2005. And they formed the original ODM, right? They, they formed the original Orange Democratic uh, Movement, you mm -hmm. know, where you had Ngilu, Balala, Raila... Uh, and then Ruto, Ruto Nyaga, Nyaga, you know, and, yeah. and, and there was a there was a couple of other uh, people. Uh, yeah, and it was and when once they formed it into a party, it actually became a very strong. It party. became a very powerful so party. So powerful that yeah. even when they tried to play politics to break it down, and uh, Kalonzo formed his own ODM, ODM Kenya. Yeah. Still, this this one was super powerful, mm -hmm. super powerful that uh, Kibaki had to uh, appoint himself at night. To become president because he had lost the elections. Yeah, that was a that yeah, was an election that Kibaki yeah, lost, lost two thousand seven. Yeah. So, yeah, and uh, that is where now they uh, the the relationship with between him and Raila crumbled because uh, when it pushed came to shove that okay there was violence, we need people to be thrown under the bus. But remember, under the coalition government. Uh, he was still appointed. He was still a minister. Uh, as, a, as a minister. Yeah. Uh, on on Raila's side. Raila's side, yeah. So somewhere in the middle, 
is where he got uh he got fired because so of the May scandal. Th yeah, but then all that came out from the ICC when when they started doing the ICC thing and that because remember both him and Uhuru were ministers. Yes. Under ODM. Uh, and, and under the coalition government. Under the coalition, no, no, yeah, under no, the coalition so government, so but so they were Uhuru coming from Nini. Uhuru was coming through Kanu. So uh, Uhuru was not under ODM. And ODM was, an, he was under was Kanu. Under ODM. Remember, before elections 2007, so, uh, so Uhuru supported Raila in the referendum in, in the 2005. Referendum, yeah. But going towards election in 2007, he switched his support from Raila and went back to uh, Kibaki. Back, yeah. Remember, yeah, then there was this party called PNU. Yes, that was formed. So that's how Uhuru became a finance minister. Because remember when, uh, oh yeah, 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 when when Kibaki be you know stole the election, he gave Uhuru the position of a finance minister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was back in yes, 2007. Yes, so 2008, Sasa. Yeah, 2008. Yeah, but yeah. then that is where now the fractions came out, and each side had to throw somebody under the bus. Yes, the violence. Yeah, right. and, and PNU pr provided, PNU provided uh, Uhuru. Uhuru and the ODM side provided uh, Ruto. Ruto. And that was the genesis yes. uh, of, then, uh, of yeah, ICC. It, it went through the... Uh, it, so from that, they tried to... Because the constitution had not been made in 2010, and the constitution in 2010 is what allowed them to be tried in the ICC. In ICC, yeah. yeah. So that is why these guys went and formed uh, their own uh, Nini. Their own new political party. Their new political party from, yeah. uh, from there. Yeah. I think it's important to study, you know, like what has happened in history to avoid uh, mistakes being repeated. And that's the reason why I think a lot of these Gen Zs are saying no to dialogue, which I think uh, is the position that people should stick by. Because between, uh, I think, uh, for the last, like, I want to say, like 15, 16, 17 years, there's been more than, uh, you know, there's been about 20 dialogues and 20 different reports on the different dialogues that we've uh, we've been seeing. And you see that's, that, that, that's, that's not, um, so we already have these things that people in a dialogue about. They're already on some reports gathering dust somewhere. Uh, and uh, we have the complicated situation of uh, Raila returning, or rather ODM returning with the men in black. Uh, when there was that uh, which was the most press conference, which was uh, the most stupid thing I've seen come out of ODM. Like uh, the last time the Men in Black came out was nearly something like this, but then it it, it was just to disrupt an, an, an election or something. But for this one, this one was a purely utter disrespect to all the other Azimio guys, and it shows. This one clearly showed I if you know they thought that and. Uh, I think I believe that there's somebody who has told uh, Raila that you still have that power of people following you blindly, which he needs to wake up and realize he doesn't have it anymore. Yeah. Because even his psychophants have started turning on him. Even the guys of Bungela Mwanainchi, Kinanuru Okanga, have started turning on him. Yeah. When they were when the story of the men in black came out, they thought that it was goons who had gone out, and they was very mad about it, saying goons are not going to go after Raila. But when when they realize what's happening, they even say they told Raila no. And then when you know when it gets to a point whereby you have your footmen like in a babu telling you I'm not working with you, even your own child telling I'm not going to support what you're saying. Yeah, it's time for him to start to come and realize that. Read the mood of the people. You whatever mood you're trying to read, it's over and. Right now, how people perceive politics anymore, it's not going to happen. Because what's happening right now, what did the Gen Z say today? Okay, I'm a survivor. Fine, we're going to go back to the street on Tuesday. But before Tuesday, what are we doing? We are translating everything that came out today in all languages, and we're going to share it widely and everywhere. So those days of assuming that Kenyans are ignorant and they're not getting information are gone. Smartphones are everywhere. News is on people's hand. Internet is cheap in Kenya.